If you like this video, why not subscribe? Ken Burns is a famous documentarian and the Ken Burns effect uh, is usually what's referred to as putting virtual camera moves on still photos. So we're going to do the same thing here in Vegas. I'm going to take a still photo. We're going to bring it into the timeline. And if you notice when I double click on this, it'll put ins and outs around it. And if you look over, look over here, the ins, the whole length of the photo is about six seconds long. And if you want to set a default uh, for put, when you bring still photos into the timeline, you can go to preferences and then editing. And if you look right here, it'll say new still image length in seconds. And I've got it set for six. So you can change this value if you want. So whenever you bring a still photo into the timeline, it'll automatically set itself to play for that length of time. This length of time I've got it is six seconds, so that's what happens. Um, the first thing you do is you click on the event pan crop button here. It'll give you a picture of uh, your photo and then these wireframes around it. And notice in the preview window that uh, there are pillar boxes around the actual photo because the photo is tall. And so if you want to fill your 16 by 9 frame with it, you're going to have to change it from default to 16 by 9 widescreen TV aspect ratio. And I'm guessing most of us are probably editing in 16 by 9. Click on that. It'll then fill the frame automatically. And then you can simply just adjust it with the arrow keys for a good starting point. That's if you want to get rid of the pillar boxes, which I do. So we're going to start with that. Now, as far as the animation goes, you're going to go down here into the timeline, um, this keyframe timeline. Uh, make sure that your sync cursor is unchecked. Uh, because if it isn't, that will put the keyframe uh, cursor wherever your main cursor is. So it's just best to leave that off. That does come in handy for a lot of other things, but we're going to turn it off here. Um, so we've got our 16 by 9 crop set up. We're going to take the cursor and bring it down to about five seconds. Uh, and then I'm going to do a little animating by adjusting this box here with these handles. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit and maybe go right. So over the span of the six seconds, actually this is going to end at five seconds. It's going to come to a stop. I'm going to right click on the keyframe here and change it to smooth. And what that'll do is bring it to a nice stop. Kind of a breaking effect. So this is what it's going to look like in the preview window. Slowly zooms in and goes to the right and then slowly comes to a stop. Then, of course, you can change that effect to whatever you want. We'll go back to the keyframe here that it ends on. And maybe now I'll sort of turn the image like so. So it's going to zoom in and sort of spin a little bit. And now this is what it looks like. So that's the basic Ken Burns effect. It's putting a virtual camera move on a still photo, and that's how you do it in Sony Vegas Pro. Game over.